today we are jumping back into the world of land of empires and i'm going to be giving you guys five tips that every player needs to know what's going on guys cheers now this video is sponsored by the creators of land of empires and i just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips if you're new to land of empires or even if you've been playing for a little bit there may be some things on this list that you don't actually know and with that being said let's jump into tip number one now if you look around your city you could see some debris here okay this is like some i guess this is like little dead trees and some rocks and stuff you could see there's another one over here uh there's also some I guess you could call this debris really it's a it's a treasure chest okay we have a little chest here and one thing that's important is that when you remove this debris from your city that will accumulate over time you should never do it until you're prepared to use the resources that you're about to obtain and what I mean by that is when I come over here and I clear this debris okay I'm gonna get 50,000 food and wood I'm also gonna get 10,000 stone and I think 2.5k of the or here let's go ahead and click that and boom you see 50 50 10 and 2.5 k so every single time that you clear this debris from your city you're going to gain those resources and right now for my account it doesn't really matter that much but at the very beginning of the game that's a significant amount of resources when you're like level two okay and if you go ahead and clear all the debris all at once and you don't use those resources that you're getting they're just sitting in your city waiting to be plundered now let's pop open this little chest here i'm curious to see what we get and boom we get okay we got 20 minutes of speed ups okay cool now the same thing applies for your resource items so here you can see I have items that will instantly give me food or wood or stone or ore, whatever I need pretty much I can use this item and I will gain a hundred thousand ore right away you could see it right there but when I use those items they go up into the top bar here and these are the resources that are just in my city and some percentage of them are actually protected by your warehouse building here you can see that there's a certain protection for each individual resource but it's not that high and anything that exceeds this capacity is an amount that can be plundered by enemies who are hitting your city so unless you're going to use the resources from that debris clearing or from your resource items in your bag don't use them don't clear the debris just leave it there until you're ready to use it that way you don't risk it getting stolen because in item form this stuff is safe this ain't going anywhere tip number two has to do with two of the questing systems here in land of empire Okay. First, there's the daily quests, which are pretty straightforward. If you've played other kingdom builder games, you're familiar with this system, but something that's I think unique to this game. I don't think I've seen any other kingdom builder or city builder game do this. And that is research quest. So essentially what this does is we'll talk about the daily quests in a moment, but the research quests will essentially give you some requirement that you have to fulfill. And every couple of days, this will refresh. And right now you can see that if you perform five epic recruitments, which I've already done, I can claim this quest reward. And the quest reward here is that it reduces the research time of writing six by an hour and 26 minutes so if we go ahead and click here that is a specific research here okay so right now the research takes three days six hours but if I go through and I actually claim this research quest that time is going to go down so here you can see it went down by one hour 26 minutes and now it's 77 hours and so you can see that the importance of these quests is huge especially for free to play players because this is literally just going to help you progress through your research even faster faster and it's free a lot of these things you don't have to do anything special it's stuff that you may already be doing anyway and you're going to get a reduction in your research time which is huge now on the same note is the daily quests and as the name suggests these reset every single day but this is super important this stuff is like you have to do these every single day okay because if you look here the first reward essentially when you go through there's different things that you can that you can do throughout the day these are things that you're typically just going to do anyway and they provide you some some number of these coins here or activity points you can see in the top right corner and once you hit 40 which is the smallest threshold you're gonna get a 200 diamonds for free like this is the premium currency in the game and you're getting it right away for the cheapest reward but not only that you see healing speed ups you see even more speed ups there's lord experience you got them up here and you have material selection you have legendary tomes epic fate stones so these are the essentially the rare summons in the game you have orange badges which you need to progress your legendary heroes epic hero star up shards which are important especially in the early game there's so many things here that you absolutely need as you're progressing your account 
so you have to be doing these every single day you want to get the biggest chest okay the biggest fanciest nicest looking chest that's the one that i'm going to recommend you shoot for because again all this stuff is stuff you're pretty much going to be doing anyway and each of these individual quests gives you a little bit of resources as well so i mean you're getting stuff no matter what so don't skip out on these tip number three has to do with getting diamonds for free and if that sounds interesting to you i hope you'll drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and it tells me that you want to see more land of empires content here on the channel and with that being said tip number three has to do with the diamond deposit okay so here you can see on my warehouse there's a little diamond logo and this is a feature that I think no other city builder has this I could be mistaken but I'm pretty sure this is unique to land of empires and this is literally a way to get 50 percent of your investment in diamonds back for free so what do I mean by this if you deposit your diamonds for 30 days you get 50 percent more of them at the end of the 30 days so you click here you click select and then you go ahead and just deposit as many diamonds as you can okay this is one of those instances where patience is going to pay off i mean think about it you don't have to do anything other than remember to come back in 30 days and you get 50 percent more diamonds so i'm getting almost 5,000 diamonds here for free by doing nothing i'm just gonna it's just gonna go and now of course these diamonds are locked up but you can withdraw them if you want to if you really need those diamonds you could do it it's just you know if you progress for like four days uh that you're not gonna really make any progress there but regardless for free to play players i mean in other games you have to like go around the map and gather gems all the time and in this game here you just get the 50 percent diamonds for free you just gotta wait and honestly that's a, a way better experience for players rather than having to just grind all day all day it's so annoying here you just basically commit the diamonds say okay i won't use them for this amount of time but you get rewarded after those 30 days and that that is huge as the premium currency there's a lot of times where you're going to wish you had more diamonds especially for special events that come around once in a while so this is again you, you have to do this moving on to tip number four we got to talk about the titanios okay these are one of the coolest parts about this game and i absolutely love the models for these titanios i mean oh my god windstrider just looks like an absolute king this is king of the sky right here but tip number four has to do with how you can get the most value and the most power out of your titanios right because if you take a look at these titanios you can go through and you can kind of get an idea as to how strong they're going to be by clicking the preview and going all the way to the end and my god can i just say this looks so incredible but here you can see that the, the stats here are through the roof the stats are insane on windstrider and when you compare that to somebody like bloodshade you make it a little bit discouraged because bloodshade has significantly lower stats but what you have to remember is these are such a huge investment it's gonna take a long time and a lot of players who are working on some of these legendary titanios it's gonna take them a long time right now i made the mistake of spending some of my resources on windstrider some of my resources on moonbane some of my resources on night saber this is not what you want to do because my titanios are getting beaten by free to play players using bloodshade why is this because they did the smart thing which is going all in on one titanio put all of your effort all of your resources everything you can into one because city builder games like land of empires are strategy games okay and it is always better in strategy games and in city builder games to go all in on one strong army rather than having three or four kind of weakish kind of okay armies it's never a good strategy to have a handful of weak armies when you could have one really powerful one so remember if you're leveling up your titanios if you're progressing them enhancing them you want to go all in on one whether it's bloodshade whether you go in for windstrider moonbane whoever it is it doesn't matter just go all in on one focus on one until you get it as good and as strong as you can and then you want to consider moving on to another one because remember as fun as it is to collect these which i honestly i love that I, anytime i'm in a city builder game i love collecting things i mean and look at the models they're so good look at my boy odin over here okay but as fun as it is to collect these things you remember you actually have to have enough of the heroes to build a whole second army anyway right 
so first of all you're not even going to need the second titanio until you've finished your first three heroes and are progressing to the next three so just go all in on one and you're going to gain way more benefit out of that rather than spreading everything thin and tip number five has to do with an alliance you want to join the most powerful alliance and the most active alliance that you can whether you're a free-to-play player or a whale it doesn't matter because joining an alliance has so many benefits that essentially if you don't do it you're going to progress so slow in the game and you're just you're not going to have a great time okay the sooner you join an alliance the better and here's why first of all you have the diplomatic center building in your city and this essentially serves a couple of functions but the primary thing here is that it gives you a certain number of alliance aids and essentially what this is is when you go ahead and start and a building upgrade right you can ask your alliance for help by just clicking a button and that sends out a help request and aid request to all the other alliance members and when they're online or if they're online they click the help button it reduces the time that it takes to complete that upgrade this is free speed ups this is free progress on your building upgrades and it's not just building upgrades you can do this for research as well and you can even ask for help for your training of troops this is something else that is unique to land of empires which i think is really cool you literally train troops faster when you're in an alliance which is huge but not only that the only way that you can defeat the hell watchers here in the open field is by being in an alliance because you have to form a rally attack on these units on these enemies and they look so cool by the way can i just say like they look incredible but the hell watchers give you really good rewards you literally get free diamonds this is premium currency there's there's things here like the ancient dragon claws you need this to level up and, and progress your blood shape, which we just talked about is really powerful. So the, these things, you, you have to get some of the rewards here. And the only way to do that is by being part of an alliance. And on top of that, the alliance has a gift feature, as you can see off on the right. Now on the top, there are normal and rare gifts. And when somebody in your alliance makes a purchase in the in-game cash shop, so like when they spend actual money, you will get a reward as just being a part of that alliance. And yes, Land of Empires does have a claim all button for the rare gifts here, which is a huge quality of life upgrade that I don't understand. Some other city builders do not have this button, and this is huge. It saves you a lot of time if you're in a well alliance, trust me. But as a free to play player, you don't have to do anything here. You just have to be active in an alliance and you get gifts for free. That's free resources, speed ups, all this stuff you get for free just by participating just by being active and finally alliances have technology okay by being a part of an alliance your troops your armies are literally going to be stronger they are just going to have more stats by being in an alliance now of course you have to donate to these things right so it does cost you a little bit but the benefit far outweighs the the daily small resource cost that that, that this requires and so you're just going to be stronger in alliance like if if everything else that i've said hasn't convinced you like you are weaker without an alliance period that's just the truth so make sure as soon as you join the game as soon as you start playing land of empires to find your way into the most active and best alliance you can you're going to progress faster you're going to get free stuff and hopefully you make friends i mean that's the best part about these city builder games is the community right making friends talking to people and enjoying the game together is always more fun than enjoying it alone at least that's that's the experience that i've had now i want to give you guys one more bonus tip here at the end of the video and that has to do with holiday events as you can see here this is the city hall skin for the easter event i also have the city hall skin from the saint Patrick's Patrick's Day event and these let me just say some of these skins look so good the Halloween skin oh my god bro these city skins are incredible but they're not the only thing that's amazing about these holiday events here in the land of empires because you earn those city skins from holiday events and these events typically provide you with tons of different rewards you can get a bunch of speed ups different resources and other items that you need to progress your account but you can also get like marching skins and things like that I mean this is these are so cool this is what you look like when you're actually walking through the open field like it's 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 so cool looking man it's so cool but what i recommend is you want to save as many of your current speed ups and mobility potions for these events when they do come around as you can see here i do have some mobility potions saved on my account but if you save all of your speed ups and mobility potions for these big events for holidays that come around usually like every other month you're gonna get even more rewards for your effort and if you are a player that likes to spend a little bit in games like land of empires then the holiday bundles are typically 
the best value or some of the best value that you can get here in the shop in the game not only do they typically come with some holiday themed goodies but they're also typically just better value than some of the bundles that you normally find here in the shop so if you're gonna spend on the game I would actually recommend saving for those bigger events for those holiday events and you're gonna get more bang for your buck anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other land of empires players might see it as always if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a land of empires video I do want to take another moment to thank land of empires for generously sponsoring this video sponsors like land of empires help me continue to do what I do here on YouTube so if you enjoyed the content and the tips and you learned something new and land of empires looks cool to you go ahead and click the link down below to download land of empires for free give the game a try and I think you're gonna like it with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on New York I'll talk to you guys again soon peace